Hey everyone, Shoe Nice again. Well, basically, you're watching It's Been a While podcast. It's been a while. Heck yeah. Hey, what's up, good looking? You're not audio. Yo, yo, yo! Hey, Hello. what's up? Hey. How you doing, man? Hey, how's the audio in here, man? I'm in like a hundred degree heat. I, we can hear you. Around. I got turn off the AC. For sure. You got a jacket on in a hundred degree heat? <laughs> uh, I'm just in my car, man. I like to dress up in my finest threads when I'm on podcast interviews. Oh, there you for go. sure. You yeah. look good. <laughs> from Vegas. Hell yeah, dude. Well, what's Am going on? You're enough? obviously you shooting. Yeah, we can see you. All right, because I'm blind. I can't see my little box. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, we Somebody's can see Somebody's got a hat collection. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got uh, I might have to make another row here soon. It's filling up pretty quick. What's that <laughs> blue one up there? What's the blue one top left corner? Uh, Blue one top left? Wait. Top left is red. <laughs> oh, you know. The blue is to the left. Uh, one of those little drinking hats. One of those is uh, the blue one over here is a Rocco's Modern Life. One of those cartoons, some Nickelodeon right. shit. <laughs> yeah. You got a Charger hat on today. Usually I see in a Giants hat. Nah, I'm wearing the double lightning bolt hat. No Chargers today. <laughs> you can't find a Giants hat around America. You got to order it online, and I don't have an address, so gotcha. I just sport whatever I find at a Seven Eleven. Oh yeah. <laughs> So you're obviously shoe, you're obviously shoe nice. My name's Xavier. My name's Ian, nice and I'm David. David, Xavier, and I miss the middle guy. Ian. Ian. So yeah, man, this is uh this is legendary. We uh we didn't think we'd be able to get this, you on, but we're very excited to have you. Is this your first podcast? No, it's not. It's not our first one, but uh. We, we've only had a couple so far with kind of internet people. We usually kind of just like cover internet celebrities, internet characters. We've had a couple so far now with like actual interviews with the person. And this one is uh, when you think, you know, internet viral, you definitely think shoe nice. So this one is uh, very exciting. Oh, uh, so I, I, the other two guys weren't as popular as me, right? <laughs> what? No, no. <laughs> not quite. The, mo the closest probably Copper Cab. Yeah, that angry ginger oh, kid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was fun. Yeah. But uh Yeah, we got uh we got some good questions for you. We uh you're a very interesting fella. So, uh first of all, Shoe Nice. So, your last name's how do you pronounce it? Shoey? Shoe? Shoey. Shoey. So, how did it switch into Shoe Nice? Cuz I've heard you say you want to actually change your name. I don't know if you're still planning on that. Uh actually changing well, your name. Um... When I was born, I was born Chris Shuey, a girl's name and how you call a pig for a last name. Shuey! <laughs> so, I, like, all the way through fifth grade, sixth grade, like, during Star Wars, like, I seen Star Wars in the theater, actually. Yeah. I was Chewbacca, you know? And then I was <laughs> shoeless. You know, I'd walk around on my bare feet. He's shoeless. Shoe boxed. Um... And then, like, around the early 1990s, I got out of Desert Storm, and I'm roofing with these guys, and I'm always bringing this kind bud. And, like, I'd pull up in my car, and a dude would yell from the peak, here comes Shoe with the knives. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Me and him started doing roofing jobs together. He was, his name was David, but we call, I called him T-Money Grip, and then I was Shoe Nice Money. And the homeowners used to say, Oh my God, these guys must really charge a large price. But we were the cheapest and the fastest. So, and then I always laid everything nice, man. My felt paper, the shingles, everybody, that's nice. That's you nice, you nice, you nice. Oh, yeah. And then it just stuck all the way up through the 90s. But there was still people, my old friends calling me shoelace and okay. stuff like that. So I joined YouTube around 2008, and it seemed like shoe nice had already been taken i don't even know what that means but it must have been maybe like a shoe company or something probably so they said the first suggestion is shoe nice 22 so i said all right all right and i'm just watching videos i didn't know i was going to become a cult legend yeah so eventually shoe nice 22 is where it was at like when i died uh, on new york times i was shoe nice 22 and then well my 
I made a lot of mistakes in my YouTube career. One of them is never change your name. I changed my name to the shoe nice, just trying to separate from all the other fake shoe nice with right. maybe the in the beginning, but it killed my channel. Damn. So I mean, people thought I was dead. I changed my name and I left Google for um an MCN network. And you know, that's what really declined me. But yeah, that's how I got shoe nice. Okay, nice. And then um your cameo you did for us, that was one of the first cameos we got, and you definitely nailed it. <laughs> uh i sent it to you in the the email but that uh yeah we use that from time to time and we got it in our soundboard and stuff but uh so it seems I like you're... i mean i i would love to remember you but i've done like <laughs> 8300 of them in the year yeah. yeah i was gonna ask are you it seems like you're killing it on there <laughs> oh i don't even do youtube is like my weed money dude the, the algorithm's so bad the notification bell they gotta get rid of it yeah. Every person, if I made a video, like I made a video earlier, sugar between sugar and sugar, fake sugar. And like if every single person that was subscribed to me, 130,000 got that in their notifications, then I'd have 60, 70,000 views the following day. But it's just so like, but there's people out there with 4.5 million subscribers. They're only getting three or 4,000 views. Yeah. So it's killing everybody, man. From H three, H three all the way down. Yeah. <clears throat> I've definitely noticed that. It's um we're just finally learning the ins and outs of the algorithm a little bit more with our channel. And yeah, it can be very rough. You you're like, how is it this low of an engagement? You just are like, I mean, it's just as good as a video, like what the hell? So yeah, I and, agree with you there. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, and it's just like I mean, obviously people move on, they grow up, but I, I'm one of them iconic figures where people started watching me in sixth grade. And now they yeah. graduated college and they had me all the way up through there. Yeah. Just, but, you know, people move on and they don't get them notifications and, you know, reminders that somebody's there. You, you just human, you know, psyche, you just move on, you know, yeah. unless you got the, all the real true fans. But um, I'm probably making five times as much a month on Cameo than I am on YouTube. Damn, so, okay. hell I yeah! Saying get high, dude. It's a lot better than roofing. <laughs> what well, was yeah. your Cameo? If you tell me what it was about, I'll remember, dude. I got a fucking brain like an <laughs> elephant. Dude. So basically, <laughs> you're watching the It's Been a While podcast. It's been a while. Thank oh, you. all right, all right. It's been a while. You guys wanted yeah. me to play that song in the background, maybe? No, we just or wanted just you to sing, sing the little It's Been a While. Yeah. Which uh, you crushed. Yeah, you crushed I it. Pract- I should have practiced more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're doing thousands and thousands, and did ours fine. We have no complaints. Yeah, that's in our soundboard, the little It's Been a While of you singing yeah. it. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you got the perfect cadence to it. <laughs> when you guys learn everything about YouTube, let me know so I can make you my manager. You can fix all my stuff. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it for sure. <laughs> I um, just need some smart kid to go in there and fix all my tags, titles, descriptions, and the per- the people that know the SEO search shit, you know? Yeah, once you start that, That's how the, the... note boys can move on, you know? Yeah. Sorry. Once you start seeing the ins and outs of it, so you really see, like, it's a real math and science to like figure it out. And it's honestly kind of unfair that it's that hard. Like the, the analytics page, dude, I just get lost. I go in there to see my top five countries and then I move on. (laughs) I mean, and then the Google AdSense, I mean, I get paid, but there's so many different things I could do with my ads. I have no clue. Right. But now YouTube automatically, right after you guys, I'm going on a shorts creators workshop. I'm nice. in there. I got Badlands Chugs to come. Oh, they pick right you separately. And I was a huge on Vine, um, Instagram. I'm blown up on TikTok. So now we got 19 sec, 16 second vertical YouTube vids called Shorts. And oh. if I hashtag Shorts in my titles, there's a good chance I'll be on the front page of YouTube, man. So nice. cross our fingers, dude. I might just get that 500,000 back quick. Hell yeah. <laughs> Well, and I think you've got one of those unique channels, too, where I watch a Shoe Nice video, and I'm like, God damn it. Now i got to watch another Shoe Nice video. And then I right. watch you chug a fifth of the Sriracha Vodka, and I'm like, I need to watch six more of these. <laughs> and you can get lost in a Shoe Nice rabbit hole for sure. So all it takes and is that again, one video to get on the front page. Yeah, I, I I, I've had people come in, and they're just like, dude, I just binge-watched you for three days, found you from a comment <laughs> on H3H3. 
That's why I spam. You never know. Everybody did, yeah. likes to laugh, you know? So, yeah, the um, I think something with the subscribers is, like you said, people are watching it in sixth grade, and I can vouch for that. Like, in, like, seventh, eighth, ninth grade, we were watching you, like, in school, like, looking, like, make sure the teacher doesn't come see this guy eating, <laughs> eating tampons and chugging yeah. Jack Daniels. So uh, I think that with that, though, you get, like, eight people around the computer – and they're all watching it, but they're not necessarily like subscribed. But there's like right. eight people that know Shoe Nice and know what he does, but exactly eight people that aren't necessarily subscribed just because it's right. like yeah. something that sometimes comes on when you're with a group of people. Um, to get, instead of yeah, just I was at sixty five thousand subscribers, and I made four Snapchats where I could follow five thousand people from Quick Ad. You had to wait. All these kids coming. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Who's this guy? So I went out and I said, all right, we're having a national high school contest. Show me as many people as you can screaming, shoe nice, shoe nice. <laughs> Yo, I had dudes taking the whole senior class down, jumping on bleachers <laughs> on the tops of cafeteria tables. They had big banners made. I'm talking at least 100, 120 high schools got into this. And I was going to come visit a high school, the winner. But, you know, it just fell apart. You know, you can't just show up out of high school. But, uh, <laughs> tampon eaters here. <laughs> <laughs> high school but kids do love chanting, though. I paper until the principal chased me up in Lake George, New York. <laughs> I, I just moved out on opiates from my wife's house, and I'm just all fucking in a daze. Yeah. And these kids were like, oh, my gosh, shoot, you got it. It's our last day, senior year. Come up to the cafeteria and eat something. <laughs> so I go up in there. Everybody, here he is. They all run to the windows, man, just packed. So a monitor in the cafeteria immediately called the principal. And I'm just, I don't know what I'm eating. A bunch of toilet paper, oh, I think. And he, he comes out, come on. But I wasn't on school property. I was right off the curb, and the school was really close. Smart. And I just took off real quick because I didn't know if the principal called the cops. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's incredible. So the, um, do you get recognized in public, like at at, at all? Yeah. I would say all the dude, time for I sure. I see it out of my peripheral, bro. A They're kind of looking there. A, a dude or something, and you get a group of guys walk by, and one dude knows me, and he just like, oh my, shoot, not, and oh my god, you like to take a picture of me, and they're like, who's? I'm like, wait, hold on a second. These are your friends, and you haven't shared me. You know what, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it, I mean, it, it, it just like. They follow you, man, and it's so funny. I, I used to love it, man. Come on, we're gonna take you down, and get a drink. But I just hide from it now. I really, I'm just like, oh man. Yeah. Especially with this coronavirus, I really don't like to get out because they just everybody just attacks, man. You gotta do that. Got, hold on, my brother's on his way down, man. Well, come on, he's on his way. I'm not waiting there ten minutes. Yeah. Brother pulls up. We all gotta do a snap. I mean, it's great. I I, I affected all these people, but. I mean, yeah, it just got real annoying. <laughs> Especially now, in your, like in the pandemic, it's like, oh, let me invite several other people you've never met before to come and get right up in your space. Like, yeah. <laughs> and I, I've trolled bigger for bigger fish now, like the Nelk Boys, Steve will do it full send. So we got all them kids out there that if they ever ran into me, they'd be all like, hey. But yeah. you know what? In all the fucking haters and people I pissed off on purpose, I formed all my hate on purpose, but I was just like, yo, um, I lost track of thought. What were we talking about? <laughs> well, on the street. <laughs> uh, making your haters on purpose and uh, getting recognized by big groups of people, like, because you said you trolled bigger fish, like the Nelk oh, Boys. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, I, I, you know, I get H3H3 H3 fans and and but what it's really doing now is I have 81 countries that watch me on TikTok. I have these little 10 year old kids walking through the grocery store with their parents. It's shoe nice from TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> parents just look, you know. <laughs> but yeah, man. I mean, it, I got fucking from seven to 70 is my age range. On yep. TikTok, it's 46% female. 
54% male or the other way around, I think. There's more females watching me on TikTok from all around the world because I'll go in and you have these hot bitches dancing in bikinis. Underneath that is 70 dudes thinking they're going to get laid. And I just go in there and heart all their shit. And when mm -hmm. they get a heart in their notifications, they come to me and they're like, oh my God, dude, I can't believe you're still alive. But I also go around and get top comments in there like YouTube. I'll, no matter what the situation is, I'll just say, hey, I got laid on that table. I got like two guys almost got killed on an iceberg. And that was on Daily Dose of Internet. I got top comment in there. I said, I got laid on that iceberg. <laughs> I go into old Leonard Skinner, Simple Man. I got top comment. Ozzy Osbourne, Stevie Nicks, Fleetwood Mac. You, Because these people will go in on a drunk night and just listen to their old favorite songs. And now that I got that check mark back, you just stand out. And it's just like. I yeah. mean, you're literally, it's the easiest way. And people think, uh, you know, YouTubers are going to knock on your door. If YouTube ain't kissing your ass and throwing you on the trending page, you're in for a long time, you know? Right. I did everything on my own, but I got lucky. I mean, all at once I was on World's Dumbest, RWJ, Web Soup. It all happened within like three weeks. So I was all within the level of Pootie Pie, Jenna Marbles. It was... Uh, Furious Pete was tiny. Max Mofo was just a kid asking me to share his videos with iDubs. And I, their How to Basic came out. I shared that because I had a huge Facebook. I, had, I went to high school for six years, four different high schools, and like 13 years of college. So I knew the world before I even went into YouTube. Yeah. And I mean, it just, it just exploded. I took a lot of people with me. And Max Mofo, he knows it. He knows I made him big. L.A. Beast can't admit it because he's a pussy. Oh, we're going to get into the L.A. Beast beef. We're going to talk about that a little bit. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> so you, um, you've um, you shared a pretty good amount of, your, of like your life story. So we, I'm sure you're, you've shared it enough. We don't need to get too deep into that. And people can check that out on H3 and stuff if they haven't heard it. But have you ever thought about possibly starring in a movie? like an autobiography type movie about you? Would you be interested in something like that? Yeah. You know, there is a film company. We kind of got thrown off with the, um, the coronavirus independent film company that really wants to just blow away the vice documentary. They want to go deep two hours. That'd yeah. be yeah, an award. It'd be an award winner. Oh you yeah. Know, I, I really, I always said, hey, I did this. I joined YouTube because I always wanted to be an actor. I took acting in college, theater, TV production, newscasting. I know all that shit. And I just said, you, know, you kept joining these. We're going to get you acting jobs for $14.99 a month. Come to us in New York City. And we'll, you know, and I went to like casting calls, which was literally two ladies just sitting at a desk scamming people. Uh, okay let's see and now i do it a couple jokes and they didn't laugh so i knew they didn't know anything about entertainment <laughs> yeah, I, I just i joined and then i was like oh man but i don't really want a boss anymore i don't want to work for, i mean it's something netflix came up and said we want to give you a series oh i'm right there yeah but i mean the whole just like the best job is an insurance uh, insurance company spokesperson like flow from progressive uh, you know, the P, you know, the Liberty, Liberty, Liberty guy. Yeah. And, um, we are farmers. <laughs> now, they're, form they're former actors actually that are doing these things, you know, safe drivers say 40%. He's an actor. And you know, they're just sitting there. You come in for about three or four weeks of shooting, maybe twice a year. <laughs> and yeah. you just making bank Can the <laughs> chaos from all state. The guy that's cooling around your car bothering you when you drive. Yeah. But yeah, yeah Samuel man, Jackson is what? I really do think I'm just going to put, I'm sorry, just push my cameo in my YouTube, man, and just be my own boss. I'm 51. I don't need to be getting back. And, you know, worst comes to worst. If the whole internet failed, I would just go back to roofing. Yeah. We'll be all right. Nice. But yeah, that's definitely a good point because Samuel Jackson is like the highest grossing actor of all time and he's still doing credit card commercials. Like that's a sweet gig, man. Yeah, that's a sick uh, gig. Tina Fey's doing it too. Well, yeah, Hollywood's gone, man. Hollywood is just gone. I mean, they're just a bunch of shit talkers, anyways. If I ever won an Oscar and I was standing up on stage, 
I'd be like, there's nobody in this audience I like or want to thank. <laughs> thank my mom up in heaven and the guys at my dispensary. Who wants it? And throw it out in the audience. <laughs> See who actually catches it. Bounce George Clooney off the head. <laughs> now they're all on Netflix, Hulu, Apple. You can't keep up with all the series. Yeah. Showtime's got like 20 different freaking series. Hulu, Apple, all that shit. Jennifer Aniston's, they're all out there, man. And I mean, it's just crazy. Because then you got syndication after it's all like the guys from um, Big Bang Theory. It just ended last year or whatever. Now it's on six or seven different cable channels. Send all day long, all around the world. They get a paycheck for all of them episodes that are re-aired how do you think the brady bunch had nice cars all the way up until the 90s yeah i mean everyone on friends like, gets 20 million a year they get 20 million, yeah, 20 million yeah, a year in syndication and, uh, seinfeld they're all millionaires oh. off the of syndication that's nuts Great. and then the streaming syndication money too now yeah well uh, you know what i mean viceland owes me some money because they did a documentary on youtube and then i signed this thing that said yes i allowed them to put it on tv but TV, my life story with ads every 10 minutes, a half hour, and they showed it probably over a thousand times on Viceland. They owe me money. Yeah. They really do owe me money, man. But they're 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 crooked, man. Vice, I don't like them anymore. Yeah, Vice they, they, kind they, of fell they, off. When they started interviewing that murderer, I don't get into all that politics shit, but I never voted in my life. Every time I went over to the polling hall, I found a buddy who had a joint to burn <laughs> uh, but you know i never even voted for student council i just put a fucking check mark on everybody's name <laughs> so everybody won you just stick it in the box you know man, that must have been so easy to fix back in the 80s oh and yeah shit. student council you know it's always the popular dude that one <laughs> Yeah, prom. Next question. <laughs> so let's get into some food here. Uh, what's, I guess, not necessarily the worst pain from eating something, but what's kind of the worst pain you felt? I figured it's maybe from eating something, but you've also had a, a couple of bumps and spills, right? So yeah. I guess what's the worst pain from eating something and not that you've experienced? Because you've eaten well, Probably something. the worst pain I felt not eating something was falling through a skylight. Yeah. And landing on my head 20 feet down. 28 feet, actually. Damn. I went through like a drop ceiling and just my back probably was sore for at least four years after. And it's still shitty. But that was probably the worst pain I ever had. And hardest things eating? Um, probably three of them. Okay. Cactus. There's only a few of us that even eat, eat cactus on YouTube, and we all know what happens. Now, no matter what prickliness or of the cactus it is, there's always these fine little fibers Ooh. that are just these little needles you can't even see with the human eye. And as you eat the cactus, these all penetrate underneath your tongue, around your gums and shit. And you can't pick them out with tweezers. You literally have to let these things just wear off your body. Oh. And after you swallow a cactus, the chunks just stay together, man. And I mean, I'm telling you, when you take a shit and you shit out a cactus, you got pricks in your ass for a week. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. It's my old pricks in the ass joke. <laughs> <laughs> but then I ate, a, I ate a box of wooden house matches on fire and I was swallowing them in chunks, you know? So, I mean, I was shitting out two by fours the next day. <laughs> Um, rubbing alcohol that made me go blind for a day. That oh, was to the top. that was tough. That was stupid, too. <laughs> Damn, I didn't even but, think about um, something like pine that. Cone? Pine so was... cone stuff to eat. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The ones I wrote down here was uh, caulk, baby oil, Vaseline, and BBs seemed like some pretty rough ones. <laughs> They're all easy. You can't eat silicone, but latex clock, it's just thick paint, man. So that really just is. So that doesn't digest though. That just comes out as cock. Um you know, and it's cock in my ass or pricks in my <laughs> ass. So, you know, part of being a legend. <laughs> no, but yeah. I, I mean, it's just like I always lick cock. 
<laughs> I mean, when I was I was a painter, I did roofing, and they say, "Hey, can you paint the house or whatever?" And you know, you always caulk the windows and stuff, and I wouldn't wipe it on my paint; I just lick it. <laughs> <laughs> it just didn't bother me. So you like and, uh, like sorry, you like glue and play doh as a kid then too. I'm guessing. I loved Elmer's Pace. I really, really love. They call it Pica. I call it Paid in Cash always. P I C A. <laughs> but no, man, they had a little spoon on it, and you turned the cap off, and then you scooped it out and you put it on your project. I'd just be under the table. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Johnson, Christopher's eating the paste again. Parents would call and be all pissed off. Their kids would come home with half-done art projects. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> right out of glue. No glue left in the budget. <laughs> yeah, man. And then my mom would be home. She'd be like, oh, what do you eat now? She's like, well, he's fine. It's just paste. I'm watching One Life to Live. I ain't coming to pick his ass up. <laughs> so then... But, I- yeah. I can only imagine you've had at least uh, one or two stomach pumps, or or maybe not, no? Just one, just one, Devil Springs, only because I passed out and I had friends with me. When you do oh, okay. a liquor slam, it's just got to be you and a bed next to you. I went out one time and I got arrested fighting with the police on Daytona Beach. <laughs> and the guy at the hotel even said, dude, where are you going? You just slammed a bottle. Ah. And fucking... <laughs> I got out of jail the next day. He's like, I told you. I said, you should have wrestled me to the ground, dude. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, that's just that's just very impressive. You've only had one stomach pump. But that's uh, not the answer yeah, I expected. I get, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm in an ambulance, right? And I pass out, and I get, I wake up. They're, they're sticking a tube down my. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't even have insurance, man. But I turned it over to the VA. They paid for it. Okay. But do you take Tums or antacids or anything ever, or is it just all natural? You just handle it? I don't know. You tell me, bro. <laughs> Candy. That's Yeah, I'm the exact same way, bro. All, all Tums, all day. You should get a Tum sponsorship. That'd be like, like, look at what this can fix. Or probably looks like OTC with Larry the Cable Guy. I That's would die. Right now, I, I would think. die without Tums, man. Yeah. I love Tums. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favorite food? Uh, like uh, a, a typical food, I guess. I think a lot of people would be interested in just what your casual my, my favorite dish. My favorite dish, if it's not, sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full of Tums. No, you're good. You're shooting nice. You do what you want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my, my favorite dish, if it's not chunky tomatoes in the sauce, is chicken parm. Okay. Not a bed of spaghetti. Mm-hmm. I always order that where at any kind of a restaurant. Um, I love a good ribeye steak. Um, the only vegetable I'll eat is regular corn, corn on the cob, and celery and carrots that are cold. Okay. okay. <laughs> Don't so, put a tomato on my burger and pick it off when I said I didn't ask for tomato. I, I need think- the whole thing redone. I think that's the most common thing. I don't get tomato on on burgers, and I think every time I ask for no tomato, there's a damn tomato on that burger. <laughs> that's my kryptonite. I don't know if you've ever seen me try to eat a tomato. It's tough, man. It's on my channel. <laughs> it's pretty funny that of, of all things, the tomato. <laughs> I mean, it would make sense. It would have to be something simple. Uh, no, the, I've the... done other things like them artichoke carts. That's a funny video. Yeah, but most of these aren't even on my channel anymore. They were stolen by haters and thieves. But I have to thank them now, because I lost my main channel. I didn't have all them videos on backup. But if you're looking for a shoe nice video from the old times, you usually can find it on somebody else's channel. Yeah, I noticed that that your channel's a little less uh, intense now. It seems like some of the way more scary ones. Or uh, you can't do harder. anything. They they strike you on eating a bottle of non toxic glue now, dude. That's what I was gonna YouTube ask. YouTube just looks at it as like other kids are gonna copy you. They don't care what's gonna happen to me. They just don't want things starting to trend, like the fucking Tide Pods. That's what hurt me. That's yeah. You know, that that was one of the things that lost my man. I made a parody of eating a Tide Pod to tell kids not to, 
but I think the moderators just read Tide Pods in any title and just took them all down. I think that was like my third strike. Yeah, they're not really watching my strike. I beat like 16 strikes on my main channel before I lost because all these haters, man, they were obsessed. They were obsessed. Yeah, the Tide Pod, I was going to when you said something about the demonetization or the strikes, I was thinking that the Tide Pods probably were because that was one of the only real viral eating challenges that kind of besides the cinnamon. Yeah, and at that time, Logan Paul had come out and had that dude hanging in the tree from the Japanese suicide force. Yeah. I woke up Monday morning, and he's on the Good Morning America Today show, CNN. He's everywhere. I knew I knew that YouTube was going to change that day, and it did. We all got an email saying, if you um, have bad vid- or dangerous acts or all, well, if you're a bad character, you know, we're going to start reviewing channels. Yeah. <laughs> they fought. They fought in the, the table of people that delete channels. This one lady shut me down. This guy came back in. Hey, man, I put you back up. The next day she came. It was like literally a fucking game of switching my life back and forth. It's a great lawsuit in the end because I lost my channel for dangerous acts. But all these thieves get to keep all my liquor slams on their channels, Mm -hmm. getting almost a million views. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But those videos go all around the world. And when people see them, it brings them finally back to my channel. And it's all about publicity. Right. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, we've covered haters out there. He's a scammer. He rapes kids. Oh, my God. I got to go see this guy. And then they come in, they figure, they find out I don't, but now I got them in the shoe nice cage. Hell yeah. So my haters do more publicity than, you know, than not publicity. And I don't give a fuck. I know the truth, you know? Yeah. But we got some evil people out there in the shoe nice community. And they always watch these podcasts. And you're going to get like 20, 30 dislikes just from that loser with his extra fucking channels. I've had one obsessed hater. He's been around nine years. The other one's been around six. I I was friends with both of them um, before all this shit happened, man. That's insane. That's we're all friends, man. That's such a and dedication just, to just be a dick. Like for them, it's <laughs> just been like nine years. Like, dude, it's either it's jealousy. They're fucking gay for me. Are literally, they're just people that can't fucking get, they can't get busted on. They can't take a joke and they hold the grudge forever. Yeah. And yeah, I'm looking at you, Wheezy and Ted, you pussies. Because <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. follow me everywhere. I just, I got 20 legit <gasps> channels, all verified, all everything working towards. I can go live on every one of them. And I'm, keep, I'm keeping all these channels to fight other channels. And it's also really good when you type a comment in, like Mr. Beast or whatever, you wait till the day after where the big rush of all comments just bury you in a second and you can't find yours to thumbs it up with your other channels. Now, you do that 15, 20 times, you're going to get the top comment. But what you also have to do is downvote all the top comments that are there right now. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, you can, you can downvote something with a thousand likes. And those five um, dislikes will bring it down the chain. And all of a sudden, Lee Shoe Nice is on top with 23 <laughs> likes. And all these other ones with 800, 700 likes are down below. I don't like to give out some of my secrets, but yeah, man, that's an old trick. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, I mean, it's kind of like the YouTube algorithm is really fucky and not great and screws people over. So, I mean, you might as well fight it. Like with its own, you know, bad algorithm, yeah. you might as well come back and Dude, use it I'm against the spam itself. king. I'm the, yeah, I've, yeah. I've been through. I've been through ninth. Am I interrupting you like Trump did, Joe Biden? <laughs> no, 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 it, no, it's kind of a, a hazard you accept when you're doing <laughs> these, these hey, Zoom you know, interviews. To be honest with you, I think they're they're both two old clowns, man. I don't care. That's the but thing. I'm, I'm in the military. I don't like to talk about that shit, but I, I've just seen a lot of things that Obama didn't do for the VA. That Trump just literally turns 360 degrees. These people that were waiting for their, you know, their the thing that says, hey, they're fucked up from the war checks, held for four or five years. Trump got them all going within like four weeks. Yeah. They were getting and, and back pay. So, man, I don't know. Either way, I don't think Biden is really uh, it's that stable to run a country. Do you? 
I think I think they're both a little too old. I think uh, we have like, to get rid of the old people, man. It's uh, it's not even. <laughs> it's just like a little a little too old for. Uh, I hate people my age, man. I'd rather hang out with a fucking bunch of fraternity dudes doing bong hits and keg stands and five dudes in suit and ties. You want to go golfing? <laughs> So uh, jumping back a little bit, you've only had the one stomach pump, but do any doctors you've been to ever kind of know about it? I just was curious of what they've had to say, any medical experts on their two cents on, on what you do. Because obviously it, you can I'm handle I'm a really it. healthy guy, bro. I don't know what it is. I, I'm just this healthy beast. And I go, I go to a VA doctor that I had for years back in Denver. And I mean, it's just like I told him what I did. And he's like, interesting, but all my, my, my liver, all my blood work comes back. Perfect. I don't know. It's crazy. Cause I got a Crohn's disease too. There's people my age with Crohn's disease that have a colostomy bag, lost half their colon. Yeah. They, you fucking can't even get an hour, you know, 15 minutes away from a toilet. And, um, I just, I smoke mad marijuana and it just, it keeps it in remission. I mean, the THC does something with the colon, and I'm as fucking, you know, as natural as a fucking 35-year-old slut. (laughs) Yeah, I just watched the, uh, and I don't want to spoil the video, because it's kind of, there's a little twist in it, but the video where you uh, are eating the shoe, and at the end, you show your bicep at the end, you're fucking jacked, dude. (laughs) Like, do you exercise a lot? I imagine that's not easy when you're slamming that much liquor i just i I was always um my father had us boxing when we were i was doing the speed bag when i was like seven like rocky balboa (laughs) and so we always had the weight benches uh i wrestled but at 17 i started roofing and that that uh, that stopped only a few years back and it's just lugging them shingles up that ladder man i mean my calves are like this big fucking People that worked out their whole lives will never get cast like me. Yeah. And nobody wants to get kicked by my foot in the UFC in five years. We'll talk <laughs> about that next interview. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, man, I just – and so I, I've been just – you know, I just take some light weights, man. And if you do them 300 times a piece on each arm, you don't need much. You can I can, I can work out with just a rubber band. We used to have this book, Self-Tension where you just pull as hard as you can and you just come out like a triangle and go back in, do that a hundred times, dude. And you feel your muscle bulge. It's incredible. Self-resistance is one of the strongest powers ever. And there's no other human that's really stronger than your own self-resistance. It's beautiful, isn't it? I Absolutely. Right on. <laughs> so then uh, you went on it. And I don't, I don't know if you still have it, but it looked like you were setting the world record for eating lit candles on the actual, like, yeah. Guinness show. So, do you still have that? Do you have other records? Because, or maybe not officially, but, like, as far as the internet is showing, it seems like you have the record at least. Yeah, I mean, that show was Guinness World Records going wild. So, I don't know if them actual, you know, the, the book of Guinness World Records is L.A. Beast in there. Hey! <laughs> it was about fucking 50 fucking these two ladies came over oh we're getting us real records and just let them do a bunch of fucking i already beat two of la beasts i beat badlands chugs three times but these aren't world records now the show i don't even know i looked it up in the guinness world records i didn't see a guy eating candles the yeah. fastest but you know there's two episodes right the one where i lost and the one where i did it oh okay I don't know. Yeah, because I think I saw the you one, see where, the you one did. where I I didn't make it in time because the two candles were stuck together. So everybody that lost went home. They came up to my hotel room, knocked down the door. They said, "Hey, man, we love you. We're gonna give you another chance." Nice. So it was only the next day, but it seemed like they spread it out over the whole season. Gotcha. Nice is back. That dumb blonde that was in the show, I could have fucked her. Man, <laughs> she got like three beers in her at the hotel bar fucking this english bitch would not leave me alone man Man, so she was happy when i came back (laughs) yeah (laughs) so yeah let's uh let's get into a little bit with the other youtubers so it seems like you have uh, a little bit of beef with some other competitive eaters uh are you cool with any other eaters and uh if not what's the beef (laughs) 
I really don't hate anybody, bro. I'm just a ball busting troll. Yeah. And I me and LA Beast were fine right up until the point where he had his half gallon of Jack Daniels. And he was pretending to drink it. And then he poured it in his eyes and he didn't even squinch an eye, you know? And I just, I came in and I actually, I think I made a video. You could do response videos back in the day. Remember that? Mm -hmm. You can make your own video and it'd be a response video underneath. You could accept them or deny them. So I went in there and I said, LA Beast, that is so fake, dude. Literally, you cannot pour Jack Daniels in your eyes and not blink an eye. Yeah. And he came <laughs> and he made that one video all angry. Oh, I'm shit nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he just, uh, I mean, I couldn't believe it. He just the anger that I brought onto this guy. You're a college football player. I'm an old man. Stop being a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and shit nice doesn't throw up after either. And then, yeah, and then every time he had his live streams now, he's like number one on Cameo. Nobody can ever catch him. I'm yeah. always like in fifth or sixth place, but that's still pretty good out of 2,500 YouTubers. Hell yeah. I think it's like 3,000 now. And, and and Cameo will put me on the recently active list, you know, and um, no, no, noteworthy. So they help me out a lot. They know that Shoe Nice spams the cameo link more than chuck norris yeah <laughs> but um well I, i'm sorry man I, I always start talking and we're not answering the question yet oh, oh no so anyways yeah so i said lab so let's just fight man let's just box and every time he's on his live stream he's like yeah and this guy and can't mention my name but he'll talk shit about me forever. These people come back in, and you can tell when LA Beast just talks shit about me because four or five of his fans will be on a random comment on my channel the next day. Damn. Fucking <laughs> LA Beast is way better than you. He's fucking looking for coins with his metal detector. So it ain't going nowhere. Yeah, at least if you're going to talk shit about me, drop my name so people can see my channel, right? Like, <laughs> I mean, he got in the accident. I know it fucked with his head a little bit, but he was stupid before that. And, I mean, he, he, blew, he blew a big channel, man. I mean, he didn't stay consistent. He walked away, and people just walk away when you walk away. Right. So, I mean, he, he's got, what, 4 million? Two, I don't know how many subscribers, but he can't get past three, 400,000 views anymore. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm not sure. You how guys, all roommates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got two other roommates. We got a big, uh, big house in Illinois. We live at. Nice. Yeah, been five been... dudes living together. I've done it before. It's... Five dudes, four cats. Five dudes, four cats. It's a, it's a blast. <laughs> Sounds like a movie. <laughs> <laughs> five dudes, four pussies will get more viewers. Yeah. Man, I used to live with drug dealers, man. Dudes would drag fucking 55-gallon fucking bags of marijuana across my living room floor. I was called the sweeper. Because <laughs> four or five guys would come over, they'd be dropping pounds on the scales, push them in bag, getting that shit out of the house as quick as possible, you know? And uh, I'd go around and I'd smack my little sweeper. Let's get all the shake. Hairs. Find a nug or two. Three ounce every other day, man. <laughs> I, I'd sell a half ounce. They didn't care. I, they, I'd sell a half ounce of weed and keep the other half. And I was too nice to be a dealer. I'd front people bags at a party next week. Hey, I'll get that money. They never pay if you you don't demand it. Right. And it just <laughs> and I, I would weigh without a scale. You know, fucking giving out fucking lids like this. <laughs> Only supposed to be a twenty bag. Eyeballing it, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm terrible at that, man. Now I just buy it, you know. Yeah, <laughs> get the. Yeah, I dispensary. just go to the local dispensary and say, "Ding dong." Ooh, ooh that's pretty. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah, anyways, the- guys, I'm gonna be going on this um this um podcast with YouTube or a workshop in 20 minutes, though. So if you guys want to just do some direct questions, you know, and I'll just directly answer and we can finish this up and oh, I'm for always sure, yeah. up for an interview too. You know what I mean? Yeah, most yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So yeah, I don't got too much more actually. Um, so one thing All is, right, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing is, uh, have you ever thought about doing, I, I'm not sure if these even exist, but they probably do some sort of professional steering contest. Cause I feel like you could, uh, you know, take home the gold. Yeah. 
<laughs> my record, my record's 22 minutes, but there's a guy in India that didn't blink for like 28 days. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> India people, they got these special powers, man. It's weird. <laughs> You go yeah, up that's... on TikTok, man, and they're doing shit with their hands that we use fucking backhoes for and shit. <laughs> same thing, same thing with them Asians, man. In China, they're doing incredible stuff from shit the same method they used two thousand years ago, man. Right. I love this. I love construction and building, and it just amazes me how this a skyscraper is built. It just blows my mind. Just all. I mean, I know it's all just, you know architecture but yeah man yeah god 28 and days i only of... did roofs i only did roofs and i would watch some of the work of some other people and it's just like how do they acquire all that knowledge in yeah. one life yeah i think some people just like comes naturally you guys just... play games so you guys all got some microphones man you guys play games yeah we've been trying to get into some some gaming lately we we all play games we've been trying to do some actual gaming for our podcast we make them half episodes and we play certain stuff yeah. um but yeah we're gonna we're gonna look into doing some light streaming soon just see test the water see how it works but like like the south park episode where they went after the bad guy on um Oh, the World of Warcraft? Yeah, we'll all be Mom! <laughs> laying down. <laughs> Toilet! <laughs> I love, man. I love... Did you guys watch the new one last night? No, I saw that they just dropped that, like, special episode. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't actually check that out yet. I, I caught a couple things. There's a pretty gross part about having sex with animals and um, Stan's dad or whoever he is. Yeah. <laughs> so but, you've never um, been on... You've been on Tosh. You've never been on South Park. They've never put you in there, have they? I don't think no, so. No, we got a South Park cartoon this guy started. You know, he says he didn't make it look like South Park. But South Park actually kind of copied off of the Smurfs character's face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With the eyes and shit. But no, um, I've been on World's Dumbest, Guinness World Records Gone Wild, Viceland, uh, Web Soup, Tosh.0. Three times with videos, one time in person, Damn. and all that's fucking old syndicate. They still play my world's dumbest on TV. Yeah, like, there's there's like world's dumbest 1920 whatever, and uh, yeah, man, they always play. It seems like they always love mine. Every couple of weeks, it'll be on there. Same thing with Tosh. So that repeated and stuff that it just brings a community of people. And that's not a. It's a, I call myself a slow viral. You know, I mean, we're slowly getting to a million. And if it takes me 10 years, I'm going to get to a million. You're so a fixture on the internet, that? I would say. Yeah. Huh? I said you're kind of a fixture on the internet. I wouldn't say a slow viral, but you're a fixture. Everyone knows who you are. I told right. my friend who's probably six years older than me. I told him I was doing the interview with you. He freaked out. I told my 18 year old cousin I was doing the interview with you. He freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's cool. And it's just like it, it, YouTube's a revolving door. Every year, every co the, the new generation of kids get their own laptop, mm -hmm. get to go on YouTube for the first time, mm -hmm. and it just, you know, people lose their internet because they buy too much weed. Yeah, I've been there, and and it's just like you know, it just all it's always just new people. Everybody's growing and changing, and I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, do you have any sort of retirement plans, or are you just going to... Oh, gonna... fuck no. The no? aliens will be here in less than five years. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll all come together as human beings. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I never believed in retirement, dude. I'm just going to do cameos till I'm 75 years old. Yeah, the cameo hey, makes it. Frank, a... happy birthday, you know? <laughs> fuck it. His angry grandpa, he died at 67, 68 years old, man. And that dude, literally, um, he, he was famous, man. I mean, yeah. his kids were dirtbags. But, yeah, I, that dude was I'm, – I can't wait. I still have 18 years before I hit his age. Right. So we're going to have a long time on here. Got a lot of the fun. kids that graduated story. college that watched me say sixth grade, they'll be showing their kids. Yeah. yeah. So I got one question. You're a big weed guy. You're a big food guy. You a big edible guy. Yeah, man. I did thousand grams once. I was on a Ooh. city bus. It felt like my feet weren't touching the floor. <laughs> I'm like, I hope this feeling stops when I have to get off the bus. <laughs> yeah, man. I they just make me tired. 
and they just yeah. they get a really good sleep the next day on edibles, you know. And the dabs are just too complicated. Oh, so it's a lot of work. Uh, <laughs> I keep smoking and I don't know what you know they call it regain or something. Reclaim that swept up. What the reclaim? Yeah, I reclaim it like a hundred times. It never goes away. <laughs> That's the beauty. I don't even know when it runs out, and then I just fall asleep, man. <laughs> you guys dab? We've we dabbled. We've dabbled in dabs. Yeah, we've uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. You know, your parents will probably see this video. No, I don't. I won't give them the link. Really great guys, though. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that's this uh... guy's got the chair, and he sticks his partners on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, man, I think we know, that's, who, uh... we know who's paying the most rent. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I used to live with crackheads. They would rent out my bedroom so they could smoke crack. Uh, you know, and, no, they were just stop, you know stopping by. But then he moved in, so he slipped me a hundred dollar bill so I'd sleep out on the couch. And when his girl came in, I'd be like, I haven't seen him, and he'd be in the <laughs> back room. Here's the difference between collecting rent when you live with potheads and crackheads okay <laughs> hey tony it's the 30th man you got that rent i'm gonna be sure 20 till monday bro you want to hit <clears throat> <laughs> and here's living with a meth head <laughs> knock knock yo mark you gonna come out with that rent tv i didn't see any tv Oh, and TV's back. I got roommates now. We're going to get our own place. And I'd be like, yo, man, rent's on me this week, bro. <laughs> what a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, I have to take off, man, and I appreciate you guys having me on yeah, the dude. podcast. Thank you, Thank you so much. On here. You, the only you, reason uh... why I charge 20 is there's haters out there. I got to make it all legit 24 hours before. And yeah, you know, a steal, a deal. Yeah, Absolutely. you've got scammers. That makes sense. Either way. Thank <laughs> Stay you. Stay safe out there, man. <laughs> All right, bro. Later. Out. <laughs> Either way. <laughs>